guys, I'm here today to show you how to wire up a Dell mini PC, uh, either a GX620 or an SX280 to a standard ATX power supply. Um, these are about five year old computers, maybe six years old, uh, but they still have uh, a dual core processor. They're very small. Uh, if you've got one laying around, you could use it as uh, like a in-car PC or you know a home theater system, whatever you want to do. Um, but if you lost the power supply, you're actually kind of out of luck. Uh, you can buy them online uh, for like twenty dollars, but if you've got an ATX power supply laying around and about twenty minutes of your time, you can make one for free. So, what you're going to need to complete the project is you need pliers, you need a ATX power supply. Uh, with a standard plug here and you need it to have a four pin adapter. Uh, it's also a good idea to have some kind of uh, like piece of wire. This is actually just a hairpin that I stole from my girlfriend and hacked the ends off. You can also use a paper clip. Basically anything just to test your old uh, power supply to make sure it works. So. Uh, first things first, the way that you test the power supply to make sure it works is you take the paper clip and you're going to shove it in the holes where uh, the green wire is and any black wire. You just shove it in and you plug it into the wall. Uh, that's the way a motherboard turns on its power supply. Uh, so as long as those two are connected, when you plug in the motherboard, or excuse me, when you plug in the power supply, it's going to turn on. You'll see a light come on maybe if it's got an LED or a fan spinning. Either way, if those two are connected, it will power on. So, once you've tested the power supply, what you're going to do is take your pliers and you're going to pull out every single pin from this motherboard adapter. Every single pin. You're also going to remove the pins from your four prong. Once you've got all of that out, uh, you need to cut the motherboard adapter to fit inside this plug. Now if you actually look at the motherboard adapter, uh, it's going to have two pairs of plugs that are going to fit into this. Uh, I chose a set of four. You need to match up the squares uh, with the rounded squares and it plugs right in. Now, there, like I said, there's two sets that will actually fit this configuration. Uh, there's another set right here next to it. Uh, it's up to you what you choose. Since you're removing all of the plugs or all of the wires, it doesn't matter what you choose. It basically just has to do uh, with where you cut. As you can see also, uh, you if you choose this set, you're going to need to hack off four of the pins off of here as well uh, to make it fit in the DVI adapter or uh, get it some pliers and unscrew that screw right there uh, and it will probably sit flush. To be easier on yourself you'll probably just leave the, these four and hack off the rest of it and it would plug in just fine too. Uh, I didn't realize I could do that until after I had to cut it and uh, obviously the cut is kind of messy but it gets the job done. Now the only problem is you're missing, the, you have to cut off the clip as well because that's not going to fit in so it's a little bit loose obviously it just pulls right out um, it's up to you how you want to solve that you could honestly even just glue it in or something uh, that's up to you so once you pull off all the plugs uh, and you cut your adapter and you've tested the power supply uh, you're ready to do the pin out uh, the reason I'm doing the video is because it is uh, actually really tough to find information about the pinout uh, that is clear and concise and really uh, video is a lot easier and the pictures that are online suck. So, first things first, what you're going to do is you're going to take uh, your yellow wires, these are positive 12 volt wires, and you're going to plug them in to the bottom three. I can find my 12 volt wire. 
OK. Perfect. Now you're going to take your one of your black wires. These are ground. You're going to plug a black wire down at the bottom and make sure you're actually plugging them in. Now, to test it out first, really you're going to want to you're going to do this um, how I'm doing it. Just plug them in bare to make sure it works. Once you have it to where it's actually correct and it powers on, then you can plug them into this. But make sure you test it first. Then you're going to plug in a green one in the top right. And then you're going to do three blacks at the top. Now, the black, excuse me, the green on the top and the black at the bottom, those are uh, the two power on wires. Uh, the green is power on, and this is. Uh, this is a ground, and when they're both connected, it turns the computer on, uh, just like when you plug, uh, when you test the power supply with the paper clip. So you have three black at the top, plus a green, ground plus power on, and then three 12 volt yellow at the bottom, with a black on the bottom right hand side. Uh, as long as you wire it up like that, hit the power button, make sure everything's plugged in, uh, and it should turn on. It's important to make sure that when you're doing this, all of these wires are not touching each other. Um, I don't think that would result in a good, a good thing. Uh, and obviously, be careful with the additional wires here. Cover them in some kind of electrical tape. Uh, do something with them. Don't just hit them with your leg or something. Uh, like I said, assuming that you've wired it all up correctly, it should power on without issue. Uh, if it doesn't power on correctly, you might have the computer flipped upside down or have a plug in the wrong spot. But this does work. Good luck.